Hello, my name is Arthur, and this is a follow-up to my last two videos. Um, in the last video, we left off with a simulation for a small explosion that I intend to use for something like tanks or jeeps in my little game effort. Um, I would left off suggesting um, doing bakes at higher resolutions for the smoke domain. Um, there's a setting that I forgot to mention that's actually pretty important for throwing out the idea of increasing the resolution. So this is the animation. I've only baked half of it for the purpose of, of showing the problem with just increasing the resolution division and um, what the problem is is the simulation is dealing with a fast moving particle so this is at frame 5 this is the last frame that the particle exists and in reality the particle is only supposed to be in one place but in the lower resolution simulation by this point in in the simulation that particle represented a whole shooting arm of flame and now it's breaking down into little dots um, this is kind of a consequence of calculating at higher resolutions so the setting that I forgot to mention was this setting here um, this is what it looks like at zero sampling substeps. And if we're to hover over that setting, what it says is number of additional samples to take between frames to improve quality of fast moving flows. And that's what our particle is. Our particle is a fast moving flow. So in order to get that to render in the same quality, in the same fashion as it did at the lower resolution, we actually have to increase the sampling substeps to get that to happen. Um, we'll just start a bake right away because that will take a few minutes to do. So yeah, it's a rather important setting for me to forget to mention when suggesting that we could start changing the resolution because in order to change the resolution, we have to kind of make up for the fact that this isn't like a lot of demonstrations that we see where people are dealing with a hundred frames of animation. This is a short 20 frame animation where we're packing movement into a shorter amount of time that kind of requires knowing the settings a little bit to be able to make that look right and still be packed into that short time frame because in in Blender, we're dealing with a frame rate of 24 frames per second whereas in Godot, the default frame rate for animations is what is it five frames per second so that's a considerable difference in in what you're kind of expecting for one type of animation to another um yeah it's pretty much the difference between 20 and 100 frames which is generally when i see people doing example videos they'd usually be in around the hundred frame range to do that so that's almost done baking there's been no other changes in this file the only thing that i changed to end up at this poor result is the is the resolution of of the smoke domain itself so that's done baking um, the end of the animation without the additional um, subdivisions in sampling what ended up happening was the explosion no longer filled the frame up the same way 
and it was actually sitting about half the size that the previous animation was at. So this is what it looks like now with the higher resolution and the increased sub-steps. So now instead of four or five balls, we're back to having plumes coming from those particles. Except the plumes are now more defined. They're defined in that higher resolution. And by the end of the animation, it will probably be outside of the frame. So with the increased resolution and the increased sub-steps, it'll probably need to be reframed because we're changing the simulation considerably by doing that. But by the end of the simulation, it's approximately the same size as it was before. It just has a more distinct action than it did at the 64 resolution. So if we were to take our domain up to even a higher resolution of 256, we would probably need to do the same thing with the sampling substeps and increase them instead of to one to two or three or four or something like that and um, what we would find is as we increase those steps if we increase the steps at 128 we'd probably end up with a slightly larger explosion so hopefully that kind of explains and corrects the little oversight i made in my previous video because it's um, that's something that would maybe be pretty hard for people to find on their own to, to go from my previous video and then try to increase the resolution and then find the solution as to why the, why the simulation broke down the way that it did. So hopefully that's helpful and... Until the next video, take care.